To remove a traction shiv from the center assembly, begin by removing the nuts and washers from the body bolts. Use a soft hammer and tap the body bolts to remove them from the traction shiv center assembly. Using a rosebud torch or an equivalent high BTU torch, apply heat to the OD of the traction shiv in a circular motion. Insert bolts in the jack screw holes of the traction shiv. When the heat penetrates the flange of the traction shiv, gradually tighten the jack screws to lift the traction shiv from the center assembly. Once the shiv is free, remove the jack screws from the traction shiv and replace with eye bolts to remove the traction shiv from the assembly. To install a new traction shiv, make certain that the flange on the housing of the center assembly is free of any burrs or particles by using a file on the flange surface. Make sure the traction shiv is free of dirt as well. Then lift the traction shiv up by eye bolts and place it carefully on the center assembly. Use a standard bolt rather than a body bolt as a guide to align the traction shiv with the center assembly. The traction shiv and the center assembly are machined to a shrink fit. In order to replace the traction shiv, you must heat the OD of the shiv in a circular motion using a torch. As the temperature expands the traction shiv, it will drop down onto the center assembly. As the traction shiv cools, it contracts to the necessary shrink fit. Once cooled, replace the body bolts. Using a crisscross motion, replace the washers and nuts and tighten the bolts to the proper dry grade 5 torque. The installation of the traction shiv is now complete. Should you have any questions regarding the maintenance and adjustment procedures we have demonstrated in this video, contact Hollister Whitney Elevator Corporation.